has to deal I with it. Yes. So this is a problem for the elderly person, the lack of oxygen. So monks do reach elderly age at the monastery, but as they reach into advanced age, uh, they may move to a lower altitude down towards the desert. So you don't have us. You have us the same way you did. That would be fun. When they eat, you know, birth you know, in the earth. So what is the maximum lifespan? I can you if you may. I want to post the post that in the mail that you need. The mail that you're running for the last year. We don't keep records on those matters. <laughs> we don't pay attention to ages. And one of the 
monks who had familiar, familiarity with him approached him and he said, how are you so happy and peace, peaceful? He said, uh, don't you, give, given the way you live this, not a very good monastic life, aren't you afraid of the judgment which awaits you? Yeah, to lay a cross, a cross to lay in time like this, to lay to Manakuta and Manakuta, to lay to lay to to lay to lay to and the monk who had been negligent according to the customs of the monastic life said, well, let me ask you a question. Our Christ, didn't he speak truth? Yes, yes of course he spoke the truth. Well, he said also this truth. Don't judge in order to not be judged. <laughs> And, and since I never judge anybody, neither will God judge me. <laughs> but the monks always like to know the truth, and so they went and asked a great saint, a, 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 a holy elder, they asked him, Father, did this monk save his soul living the way he did? And he answered, Yes, indeed, his soul was saved. So God asks from us, what is easy, and whether a person lives in the world or in the monastery, he can be careful to not judge others. On the other hand, he can live out there in the desert and in his mind and his thoughts be judging everybody and everything. You, have, you would have to cry for such a month. If somebody confessed to you that he wanted to commit suicide, what would you tell him? Okay. I would tell him, and I have to, I have said this, that the life which God gave us is not our own. It is the creation of God. I'm sorry. This life which which God gave us is the gift of God. This life which we have is not our own. It is the gift of God. And as the gift of God, you do not have the right to destroy it. And with suicide, you go straight to hell. Whereas a very great sinner, the, the, the thief on the cross, with one word, went straight to heaven. And many other great sinners, whether they were prostitutes or, um, or, or, or uh, people who committed fraud, whatever their great sin was, with, their, with repentance, they went to heaven. May God never allow anybody to reach that point because it is terrible. If a person feels that God, if a person feels that God and his faith in God were betrayed, or in other words, that God let him down, how can he regain his spiritual health? Who's going to be 